Hey there cats, good time of the day to you and thank you for tuning into my channel. All those squares who ask me for another Motorstorm video can rejoice, because here it is, I didn't plan to do it, but thing is, my only patron, who by the way, <laughs> I suspect I should be his patron at this point, I mean, he just done something amazing with Pacific Rift, namely, he found a way to bring in custom textures. And I'm not kidding. That's why I've started out of the race, because I want to save the suspense. Just look at this. Custom texture. I've asked my friend who can draw to make something really simple so I can show it to you. And here it is. Custom texture. I know, I know, <laughs> this is amazing. There are some troubles here and there, of course, because the method is very raw so far. Uh, we don't have any programs, we basically insert texture directly by the hex editor and damn it. As you can see, you still can see some kind of a light map from the old texture. Yeah, I believe that's a light map that tells the texture which parts should be lighted by some color, by some specific color, and which parts should not reflect at all, some kind of a reflect map. It's probably somewhere there in the texture as well, and I just didn't find it. I'm not sure Regal mentioned it to me. Perhaps, <laughs> so far, he is not sure where find the reflection map himself. Let's call it reflection map. I think it's all part of a reflection map, yeah. But other than that, this is a complete made from scratch texture loaded into actual PS3. Yeah, I'm actually playing on PS3. This is not an RPCR3. This is actual PS3 with MSPR with the custom texture. For all the questions, you should bug Regal, because it is pretty much from start to finish his own endeavor, and he made it all himself. So I do not know nothing. I will give you a link to Regal's channel. Go there, ask him whatever he whatever you want, bug him all you want. This is all his work. I do not know nothing. <laughs> In fact. I've had to bug Regal myself quite a lot before I was able to finally reach this thing, reach this result. But hands down, this is still quite amazing. Maybe if I'll find a reflection map, if I won't be too lazy, because uh, face it, I'm I'm not quite fond of custom textures. Uh, I mean, at least in Motorstone Pacific Rift, I I've had enough of paint jobs in Pacific Rift, and I've never yearned for custom textures, so if I won't be lazy, which I most likely will be, I will try to locate reflection map, probably help Regal somehow, but so far I'm not particularly, like, uh, warmed up to the idea. At the same time, this is, a, this is amazing, honestly. For people who like Azutsu Ronin, this is especially amazing, because for some reason all Motorstorm Monument Valley liveries for Azutsu Ronin the Lefty Monument Valley and Azutsu Ronin is pretty much the only car which do not have liveries from Monument Valley in Pacific Rift. Well, now, since we can actually rip textures with RPCR 3 and I've did it myself so I can say for sure that we can rip textures with RPCR 3 so we can rip those liveries from Monument Valley and passed them into Pacific Rift, and this is just amazing. We can restore all the Monument Valley liveries in Pacific Rift. We can also actually add uh, some DLC-specific liveries, which were not carried in Pacific Rift. In fact, I am pretty interested in Das Cap, Castro Veradero livery. Maybe, once again, if I won't be lazy, I will try to add it in uh, Pacific Rift and record a gameplay or two. Yeah, maybe I won't though. But either way, hail Regal, that's amazing job.
Ah, uh, yeah, so guess what I've done? Right after I recorded that previous part of my video. Yeah, I actually went straight ahead and dived into the code of the game. After being said that I'm lazy and I'm not interested and I will not do it, I did just the opposite. Went ahead and fixed the texture. <laughs> well, as you can see, no more green reflections and no more reflection in consistences. Now you cannot see decals in the reflections and all the other stuff. Yeah, this pretty much done texture. And since it is done, I guess I might as well do a race with it, right? And while I'll be racing, I'll tell you about how things are going. All right, so the first thing I want to say is that while the method of modifying the textures themselves was Regal's work, I've myself discovered how to remove the pearlescent effect and uh, which um, thing determines the reflection map. Yeah, after all, these were two separate uh, things and uh, they were handled differently. The reflection map was handled by the alpha texture and uh, the pearlescent effect is actually programmably defined in the code by the color parameter. So that was my work. I do not doubt that Regal would find it on his own. In fact, um, I've sent Regal everything I found and he told me that he actually already noticed some of those things but never dived into them because he thought it would take too long to figure out what's what. And Regal, I know you're watching this, so man, I understand you perfectly. I myself thought that it will take a lot of time, but it turned out relatively quick. Yet I hope I've saved you a couple of seconds. And all in all, now I feel like this video, like, um, <laughs> has a right to be on my channel. A part of this I've done myself, so I'm not just showcasing others' work. And this makes me feel good, because as you might know, I do not like just showcasing other people's work. Yeah. So now, what can I say about custom textures? Uh, right now it's uh, really, really hard to make it. I mean, I spent about three, ta three tries in order to make this simple texture work. And the uh, thing is, um, you either rip a texture straight from the game with RPCS3 or you unpack uh, or rather cut an RPK file with QuickBMS, which results is not quite a texture files, but you can convert them in a proper DDS textures with raw text. Uh, this is a trouble, but well, not that much. The, the main trouble is in the fact that we still can't repack RPKs. So in order to put this texture back into archive, you have to open the texture DDS file with a hex editor, and you have to manually copy and paste everything behind the DDS header, everything below the DDS file header. In fact, you just copy all the colors, all the stuff of the texture, which is written in hexademical code. Then you manually locate the location of the original texture in the whole RPK file. And then you manually, with the hex editor, make Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And Let's say it's uh, quite a bit harder than simply drag and drop. Yeah, that's how texture you, textures usually are replaced in the normal games, normal modding, um, normal games with some kind of modding tools. We don't have modding tools specific for this game. We only have the basic tools. So this is kind of harder than it should be. And in order to make the texture work correctly, you have to repeat the aforementioned manual process twice. First time for the basic texture and then for the alpha texture, which is stored separately, alpha layer. Alpha layer is stored as a separate texture and you have to manually replace it in a hexademical code once again in order to fix the reflection map and reflection map actually it's not quite a reflection map it simply shows what color should appear when the car is in the light 
And that color, as I already mentioned, is defined programly. Program is defined in the code. It is a value in the code. It is um, four times four bytes. I'm not quite sure what it is. I do not think they seem MY. I guess they are RGB colors uh, and they're stored in a four byte float each from zero to one. Yeah, that's. I believe that's a lot of tech uh, terms. So, yeah, right now it even overloads my brain. I'm, yeah, I'm a bit, um, a bit tired. So yeah, it, it is kind of hard, as you might understand. But well, once you found the right value in the code, once you found those floats for bytes four times, uh, you can by um, using hex to float converter change them accordingly and as you can see the green reflection becomes a normal white reflection oh boy i believe it all sounds like a complete mess so just treat this video as a showcase that we now can actually edit and insert custom textures in motorstone pacific reef don't take it as any kind of a guideline this is all very raw and the technique is uh, still very new yeah, albeit there is not much that can be done with it to improve it. All that can be done is actually, you know, probably we will be able to write some kind of program that will make it all easier, but that's the best you can hope for. The techno is new, but it is pretty much complete as far as I can see. But you can do it even on PS3, which is amazing. And, well, what can I say? I've sent everything I knew to Regal. You, I guess you can ask me questions if you want, but so far Regal is still your main source because he hosts all the tutorials and he's the main source of knowledge. Once again, I'll attach all the links in the description, so visit them if you are interested, ask all the stuff you want to ask. Once again, you can ask it here, but I'm far from guaranteed to answer it. I'm still not quite into it, you know. Yeah. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention that in order to make it work on PS3 you actually also have to repack a PSARC file which is a whole science in itself. It is probably not as hard as sticking texture in RPK or probably equally hard but damn it it is a whole other theme and emulator as far as I remember can work with unpacked PSARCs. Ah uh, yeah whatever all in all it can be done and it works perfectly even on the console. Ain't it amazing? Custom texture in Motostone Pacific Rift. As I've said, possibilities are almost endless. First things first, of course, we can probably return Azotso Ronin textures in the game from Motostone Monument Valley. Then I think we can fix several glitches which annoyed me, like uh, there is a mirror decal on a one um, paint job of Castratoro. Yeah, a lot of things can be done now. And I think you're as excited as I am. So thanks for being with me, cats. Stay tuned for more. Good luck.